Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosive. One, Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. It's very sticky in my hands. We're playing Madden 21. We're the Washington Football Team. Yeah, I eat. A, I put a bunch of Jolly Ranchers in my mouth, and I put them in my hand, and it became a sticky situation. Well, that's what I call a sticky situation. <laughs> that's what I call a sticky situation. <laughs> 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 How are you? <laughs> what do you want me to do with that? <laughs> what do you want me to do? I don't know, dude. What, what do you, you want to do? What do you want me to do, dude? What do you feel like would be the best solution? I don't know, dude. For what you have to do right now. I dude, you, you I don't know. I feel like you throw me for a loop. Oh, like I purposely try to catch I think you, up. you do. Yeah, I think you do it on purpose. Wow. I, I wish. You, if I really tried, I could definitely do it. <laughs> this well, is just me being who I am, unfortunately. All right, then go. I want you to try to throw me for a loop. Throw me for a loop right now. It's funny because the things that I, the things that I think might throw you for a loop, I don't know that would. And all the stuff that I do that I don't really even think about is the stuff that throws you for a loop. <laughs> you you don't think? You, you, <laughs> wait. So. I think if I tried to throw you for a loop, I would fail. You miserably. would fail at throwing me for a loop. But like me just being myself, you're like, what do I do with that? And I'm like. What? It's like I don't get it. But yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, it's true. We are yin and yang, Jonas. It's all right, dude. It's cool. Oppos just, opposites uh, attract. Two steps forward and whatnot. Dude, I would be the cat. You would be Paul. Yes, I am definitely Jonas. Is I am a hundred percent straight man here in, in the relationship. I just let you, you know. Yeah. Let you get queer everything up a little bit. Queer. <laughs> Queer like in a strange way. You make wow. things queer. I'm Jonas. the straight man. I'm going to let you queer it up, is what you said. <laughs> that does not come across. I can't use English language. I'm sorry. I have a vast vocabulary, I Jonas. I can't help your and nomenclature you're the queer. is homophobic. And you're queer, and I'm straight man. I'm the straight man. What is the actual definition of queer? The actual definition of queer. I'm, I will look it up. I'm just curious. Of, I just want to make sure that if you're using you, homophobic slurs. Why, why? No, Jonas. Words can be <laughs> reappropriated, but it doesn't change their, the king's English. Yeah. All right, Jonas. Queer. <laughs> it's strange or odd. Oh. She had a queer feeling that they were being watched. Wait, okay. Wait a second. So and, why, or to spoil or ruin as a verb, Jonas. Then why do people know. who uh, are attracted to the other sex refer to themselves as queer if it just means strange, strange or, or odd? odd? Like that means that they're like saying that their behavior is strange or odd? Uh, because they've been referred to that like that. In so it's like they're taking it back. In negative connotation, so they choose to use it. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So it's like one of those things like, yeah, you guys think I'm weird. You yeah. think I'm strange or odd. You think I'm queer. I'm, I'm going to own it, and now I'm queer. I'm yeah. Like, it was one of those things that over a year be like, oh, no, that's that's Jimmy. He's a little, you know, he's, he's a little queer. And he's like, you know what I am? Yeah, I'm okay. taking it back. Now it's a thing of pride. Not, and I, f I f with that, obviously. Yeah, I can, I can understand that. That makes sense. Being yeah. black, I have an affinity with the N word. I love it. <laughs> Except for, <laughs> Except for when I it's rarely used. ever hear you say it. I know. There's a reason behind that too, Jonas. Because being being black <laughs> and, and usually utilizing the N word just just like I sprinkle that some B on everything, Jonas. I'll just. Sprinkled the N word in like general conversation for the most part, but uh, the the, the main you're just like you know what I want some banana N word for soup, <laughs> and you're like everyone's like where did why did that go in there? And you're like I yeah. just want to sprinkle it in the conversation. Yeah, you can usually like start start a sentence off with it, put a com comma in there, and just say whatever you got to say. Like, hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, but you know, you started off with the, with, your, with your sentence your sentence and answer. Oh, it's like a, it's like a uh, <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I'm about to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> One time, Booker T said that to Hulk Hogan. He said, I Booker T, that. I'm coming for you, N-word. <laughs> I remember that. 
No, he's Hulk Hogan. I mean, Booker T said it to Hulk Hogan. Yeah, to, to yeah, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and everyone was just kind of like... Dude, he was in, he was he, in the moment. He, me- he means that's, it, dude. That's a real motherfucker right there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, you know. Uh, but I mean, like, I, like I was saying, the reason I don't use it, though, is because... The biggest complaint that I've ever heard is like, as soon as you say it, or I, as you, I'm using like the uh, Look, yeah, the royal right. you. Yeah. As soon as you say it, th- like it entices other people to say it. Oh, it's, I know. Like when you get on and play with Kill a King, I hear you say it more than I ever hear you say it. <laughs> yeah, man, it's my one time. My one time to get out there and, and get get it out of my get it out of my system a little bit. Yeah. And I mean, I know from playing games with him. It comes out of his mouth all the time. So my thing is, is that I don't use it around uh, s- certain people. <clears throat> Me? No, not just you. <laughs> Jeez, I know. I'm, I meant I'm, I'm the right. royal you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't use it around certain individuals. Right. Therefore, that if that word were to ever come out of their mouth, oh, I can just make them feel like the biggest jerk. I, you've never even heard me say that word. What the hell made you think it was okay for you to say? Right. Oh, no. And I, I love I that. I'm, I love that well, but, one. like, here's the thing, though. In here where I guess, I mean, I get what you're saying, and, that, and that's fine. Um... But, like, I feel that if, like, it's a not a non-person of color, that they shouldn't be saying it ever anyway. Well, yeah. So, obviously. like, whether you say it or not, it shouldn't make them feel like it's okay they say it. Hey, look, bro, I've been on this, I've been on this planet long enough where <laughs> I've encountered people who, who just don't give a hell. Apparently. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're obviously, there's a lot of people. Like, just yeah. because I feel that way doesn't mean that everyone feels yeah. that way. If, you're, if you're, your racist tendencies <laughs> just override your politeness, then that's all it really takes. That's true, I guess. Like, yeah, I can't speak for the mothership on my side. <laughs> I don't know what the yeah. what the broadcasts are like coming from the mothership. Ooh, man, yeah, that's a different that's a different ship right there. Exactly, dude. Like, I mean, like, I mean, I can get on the ship, but like, that means I enjoy going. <laughs> <laughs> You got Amy Coney Barrett on your ship? <laughs> I mean, she can get on there, too. I mean, she, I mean they probably promoted her ass. <laughs> oh, my God. Man. The state of the ship. Oh, of you want to see ships. what's funny? Look what's at that? what game we're playing and what game's on TV. Oh, it's the exact game. We're Hell playing. yeah, dude. <laughs> We were just watching the Browns game too. Yeah, it looks like they lost. Dude. Looks like come the, out late. So, oh, it's halftime. Looks like the Browns are gonna lose today, though. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> see, that was me trying to throw you. <laughs> that was you trying to throw me off. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. It what seems to, like I when I do, do something loud and boisterous and that makes no sense, that's when you get thrown off. Yeah. I would, I, I, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Like, I don't even know what to do with that. Because, like, if you would have said, oh, yeah, dude, to me, I would have been like, sounds like the Kool-Aid man's in here. Like, oh, yeah, get it? Like, Yeah, but then I would shoot myself. <laughs> right between the eyes. Jesus Christ, that's, that's a because- <laughs> I don't know about that. I think I would shoot myself. <laughs> I'm not trying to say I would shoot myself if I were you. I'm just oh, trying to say I would shoot myself if I made that joke. Right, 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 right. No, no, no. I got it. Like, I get what you meant. I would deserve it, too. Yeah, dude. I uh, Don't play with guns, kids. Don't own a gun, kids. No, own a gun when you're old enough you to own a one? gun. I've been contemplating it. I don't see why I shouldn't, man. It's my second amendment right, god dang it, right? It's two bear arms? Yeah. Isn't that, I don't know. The, yeah. Isn't that the Second Amendment? I don't know my amendments. Um, did you also see? Speaking of that, First Amendment. Never mind. It's political. I'll ask you one off the. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, we don't need to get you on your soapbox. Oh, get out of here, soapbox! You soapbox. Dude, it. I don't even know what a soapbox is. You, know, you that is the box that the person gets on to speak their opinion. Until people say shut up and start throwing tomatoes at them. Whatever happened to throwing <laughs> tomatoes at somebody you didn't like their performance? <laughs> we don't do no this anymore. No one carries tomatoes anymore. Everyone used to just keep them in their pocket. Is like, it because of inflation? <laughs> I mean, tomatoes are still fairly cheap, I think, dude. You know what they should do is they should throw limes at someone because them bitches are only 25 cents. You can't say the B word for one I, thing. <laughs> we're far enough in the video. You said that right. <laughs> Oh, so now we're changing the rules? No, dude, I just... Just I, asking, I, huh? I was passionate about lemons, dude. I didn't mean to... Limes. 
Those bees. What I'm what I'm concerned with is that there was a time in history. Okay, they, they, what I'm confused about is that there was a time in history where people would be like, oh, we're going to go see the show tonight. Better bring some tomatoes just in case he's trash. That shows that people haven't changed a lot in the course of it. But nobody brings tomatoes nowadays. What do oh, we bring they now? they just blew it. Oh, they just blew the game. What do, what do they bring now? Do they just bring themselves and both? They just bring their voices and scream racial slurs at me <laughs> because they're ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> people from your ship, man. <laughs> people from your ship have come to full circle to throwing tomatoes to throwing. I mean, I think the hate. slurs hurt worse than the tomatoes did. Uh, I don't know, Jones. Have you ever been called a racial slur? No one has ever called me a honky with. with whoa, intent, whoa! With I'm intent, uncomfortable. Intent of being racially insensitive. Oh my god! How did that word taste on your lips, man? Can I say? <laughs> you can say it. I'm, I'm not that. saying it. Get out of here. I'm all right with you saying it. No, it's spicy. <laughs> it is a spicy word, dude. I, I try to. I, you know, spicy you, don't, you word. don't hear the the white racial slur very often. No. So and like, but I feel that like. If people are going to throw out racial slurs that, you know... Honestly, they, I feel like that word isn't as bad as just calling a, a Caucasian person a racist. I feel like that is probably... I feel like that would get a, a person more offended than being called... The H word. Yeah. Uh, yes. I agree a thousand percent because the other problem is I think a lot of white folks don't realize how racist they're being. So when you call them out for being a racist because they're saying racist stuff, they think they're being not racist. So they get offended from that. Way more offended than if you just called them like a racially insensitive word. Well, yeah, yeah, Which yeah. I don't even know what the what the origin of that word is and why that is like a negative connotation for white folks. But. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll look up the history of it, but I agree. I think calling some a white dude a racist will get them way more riled up than calling them that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, dude. yeah because most people don't want to own that they're racist. No, nobody wants to, right. dude. Everybody's the hero <laughs> in their story. Like, I feel like if you are going to say racially insensitive stuff, like, you shouldn't get offended if somebody calls you a racist. <laughs> um, yeah, but, you know, ignorance, you know, people don't realize that they're doing things, man. It's like, uh... You know, two people arguing with each other both think that they're right, and they think that the other person is so Stupid. wrong yeah. that they need correction. Yep. Well, and I think the thing that's messed up about the situation you're talking about is people get mad when the other person won't change their mind. Yeah. It's like, I'm right. You're wrong. Listen to why you're wrong. Oh, you don't even think that, that you're wrong? F you. <laughs> I'm like, that's <laughs> not the way to do no, dude, yeah. that's not how it works. It's okay to think different. Just because they don't agree with you doesn't mean that they're an a hole. <laughs> yeah, like I like to have conversation and I like to have I like to have debates and stuff, and I I, I do like to 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 like uh, have heated discussion. Even. Right. I think the problem is <clears throat> is a lot of people cannot handle we can agree to disagree. Yeah. They're like, if you won't agree with me, f you. When they should be completely fine that you think something different. Because that's your right to think something different, just like it's their right to... I don't know. I'm trying to think of how you do this, man. I can't remember the name of it, but <laughs> the best way to uh, to argue. So there's a way to ask questions. This is actually a really good thing. Um... <clears throat> I can't think of it. I can't think of it. I can't think it away. But there's a method to arguing where you ask the person essentially a question of how they feel the other people should or the other person should act in the situation. So uh, let's use give me give me an argument topic. Uh, you think anything. That, uh, you think that kids should all get free lunch at school, and I think they should have to pay. Okay. So then you, I would add, uh, wait, I think the kids should get free lunch. I, I'm the free lunch proponent. You think everyone should get free lunch, and I'm like, everyone people, should, people should have to pay for lunch. It's, it helps bring income into the school. Okay, whatever. so yeah. to, to convince me, you would, be, you would ask me, like, well, what do you think 
we could do to get whatever your argument argument stance is. Where, what do you think we could do to get the money to actually pay for those? Oh free yeah, yeah. Like I would have to ask you, like, okay, you think free lunch is the answer? Well, what would have to happen to make free lunch? An actual thing. something, something along those lines. You know, like what? Would, then what would need to be done to make it so we could afford to give yes. all these kids free lunch? And and like the the whole idea is to like put the person that has the uh, the opposing view in the shoes of your view and give them like, okay, so what can we do? To right. It's like if the person who you're arguing with wants to change how things currently are. Well, how do you think we go about changing yeah, that? Yeah. Like, you can easily just say, I think everyone should eat. Well, that's, a, yes, that's a great idea. Everyone should eat for yeah. free. Oh, the government's got but the money. They've been doing it for years. How can we make that happen? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I feel you. Because yeah. a lot of times people will just say stuff, and it'll be completely unrealistic. And they, and like, you're like, yeah, but, but how is, like, I, I, the point you're making, I agree with. Yeah, free lunch for everyone would be wonderful. How the hell do you make that happen? Yeah, something, something along those lines. Um, I can't remember the exact name for it. Psychology. Well, it's terms, well, man. yeah, dude. Well, it's the same with like anything. Like if you're if you're um if you're dealing with a person and you don't like the way that they're dealing, you know, you can even like it's like even the same as like, well, how would you handle you in that situation? You know, or something. And then a lot of times the people are like, well, I don't know. Then like, well, how are you expecting me? To yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, if you can't even tell me the way it should be handled, then how am I doing it wrong? Yeah. You know, so like. It's it's that sort of yes I've heard well, not that. like that <laughs> what <laughs> well not like that that's for sure <laughs> yeah exactly yeah but uh, uh, yeah I don't know I haven't been in a real argument in so long though so well, it's the- it's been pretty nice <laughs> oh yeah I yeah, know yeah. you've you've had a couple yeah well <laughs> over the I mean, last couple years yeah like well you know honestly like. Over the last few years, my life has been very non-turbulent until, you know, a couple things. Um, And I'm fine with that. But, like, here's the thing. I I do. I agree with you. I love, like, here's the problem, though. (laughs) And I'll finish finish this up. Uh A lot of people can't have those sort of discussions without letting their emotions take over. Like, if I want to sit here and talk to you about, say, abortion, and you had one side and I had the other... I feel that you and I could have a real conversation yeah. and keep our emotion of how we feel about it out and be like, mm-hmm. well, here's why I think it's a great idea. And you would be fine with saying, oh, well, here's why I think it's a great idea. And we could go back and forth. Yeah. And that's, that's why you use the, the open-ended question t- technique because it stimulates the brain and not so much the heart. Right. Exactly. Like, I love debate. It's just a lot of people can't debate without losing their mind. So. Yeah. Anyways, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've done that, he does Twitch. TNT Dynamite, I'm on Twitch. <laughs> uh, TNT D-I-N-O, my D-H-T underscore crazy channel, twitch.tv. Heck yeah for Jonas. TV. Uh We'll catch you on the next one. Uh, we uh, are out. Uh,